All right. Hello, and thank you all for joining us again for another uh, Super Robot Sunday here on Sound Goblin Gaming. Uh, if you hear fan noise in the background, fucking deal with it. It's hot as balls. Uh, I am as always. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am as always. Bograt. I'm Chu. And I'm Vincent. Uh, Kravis, uh, say something again. Uh, I am Kravis. Okay. I think those fingers we got. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started here on Scenario 13, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. There's currently a plot happening over there in another dimension, but we're in this dimension. There's a different plot happening. Pretty much. Which involves some variant of uh, Gundam Double O. And Nadesco. Gundam Double uh, O, which exists Micah. as, which also exists as a show in the other universe. <laughs> sure, why not? Well, Gundam Double O from a different universe, coming to the universe we started in, and now us being in yet another universe, and they have now shown up here as well. Uh, I think they're from. Well, they're this from. Year. They're from yeah. this universe because yeah. they were involved in the Blizzard War and the stuff that happened after it. Basically, Celestial Being did their Celestial Being stuff here. Also, we've been effectively given carte blanche to uh, go seek out other organizations to ally with regardless of the uh, legality of their operations. Hence us allying with a bunch of terrorists. Legality seems to be extremely loose and fast in this universe in the first place. To be fair, our, our theoretical main enemy is an alien race that has already bombed Earth in our universe and is basically nearly driven us to extinction. I'll ally up all the terrorists I want, thank you very much. I mean, also technically not here. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I assume we're going to go back to our universe at some point and bring those races with us. No, nope, we bailed. Earth is fucked. This one has a living Earth. That's We're good here. I can do, I can well, that's true. We should just go and punch them in the face because we can. <laughs> and thus, yay terrorists. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sir, that, that universe we came <laughs> from was, was screwed. Sir, this, this place is kind of nice. Time loop and wonderful 101 starts. <laughs> That'd have to be the Sentai version of this game, whatever it was called. Or maybe not, actually, depending on how wonderful 101 works. Giant mechs composed entirely of the wonderful 100. <laughs> Technically speaking, the mech isn't actually made of the wonderful 100. Granted. The giant mech is actually just a giant mech. Uh, that's right, they have that too. No, no, I'm, I'm thinking of 100 people literally glued together. <laughs> uh, I have no idea who this character is. Uh, we have entered into the crossing of territory. Uh, <laughs> We're now talking about crossing of territory. You know those big warning stripes on the road that have the tickets to let you know? Veering off course. This is those digits. Hmm. I have many questions, Jadose. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, none of them will get satisfactory answers. Have we told you so, that we're literally from another world? So. I have to ask the big question: um, What exactly is Cross Ange, and why the response? Uh, why the uh, under lukewarm response? So, there's two answers to that question. The neutral answer is that Cross Ange was a fairly forgettable series that wanted to be a mecha series, but really didn't have great plot or any interesting things happening and leaned a little bit too much into fan service. Okay. The answer I will give is that it's very close to being a fan service dominant show. Mm. It, 
It primarily was made to draw robots and draw women in robots. And yet somehow also, despite being almost entirely comprised of a female cast, attracted a humongous Fujoshi fan base. <laughs> of the worst order. Of the worst order? Yeah, the worst kinds of Fujoshis got into Cross Ange. Hmm. How so? Just really grossly in your face about like how dare you not like Cross Ange? It's the best series ever, and my OTP is the greatest romance ever told in anime. And uh, it's yeah. fuck off. It's not <laughs> even a good show. Clearly, the same thing happens with all the other dogs. They're gonna put them in a giant robot and make them fight the dragons. That's okay, though. Us being forced to deal with cross and stuff is going to be mitigated. But we do start interacting with another series during this mission. <coughs> Let's see. This universe won't really have mainline Gundam stuff. Nope. on that one. Asterisk. Well, one of the units we do get during this mission is a UC Gundam unit. Ah. But that's not the primary one that we're going to be interacting with. Forbidden Sea. Can't go there. Forbidden Sea. Oh, it's an actual sea and not uh, space. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, we were literally in the Pacific Ocean. We haven't yeah. been in space since. We it, it, it's space. just uh, the uh, whole Yamato Sea of Stars is, thing. Yeah. yeah. No, we're not in Yamato's universe. We aren't, but I mean, like, if we were in space and we had the Yamato, would prefer to any piece of space as a sea. Yeah. We're still very much on whatever universe is. Unfucked Earth universe. Yeah, this is the, well, the double uh, O slash cross and slash Nadesco uh, slash Mike Gein. Yeah, slash Mike Gein. M mainly it seems like uh, double O and Nadesco. Yeah. Well, that's just the battleship we get. And the plot, we're mostly interacting with them. I guess we can do some like, um, random nonsense, but those are very easily fillable villains. <laughs> so it does make sense. Yeah, we do need probably Tri Bomber and Guard Diver just because we still need to get kills on them. Do we need kills specifically on them or just in general? Uh, we need kills between Mito, Tri Bomber, and Guard Diver. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I will say it looks so much better in SD Gun 4. <laughs> Simply because you just don't notice. I also don't think it actually has a, a, an attack that where it transforms the hat. It does. Like okay, it does. It's ultimate hat. You send it off in the time. No, no, no. I mean, in, in uh, Crossways. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I know it does in this, but. I don't remember attacking Crossways actually highlighting the fact that, that the dumb hat is actually a gun dump. Or a dumb hat, for that matter. Uh, what's our actual SR this one? Uh, nothing that exists yet. Okay. Um, we do have a tack P bonus to defeat the initial enemies within two turns of the main unit's deployment. two turns of the main unit's deployment. Yes. No further specification is given. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> A 
again. Well, nice to accomplish. If we fail, it's a hunter attack. B, oh no. Oh, that wasn't. Some degree of kills on Murray. We do eventually need her to be an ace and like control. Somewhere in like the 40s, I think. Yeah, that one. Lumps the number you can take in the battle. Or... I don't know. I have not yeah. actually played this one that Typically, far. we don't get to choose which carriers we're using. Yeah, usually okay. it's it's determined by the scenario itself what carriers are there. They're not really selected like units are. Okay. That being said, I want to say there's like five, maybe six in this game. Kind of the rock columns in that the rock column is there, the Tuatha de Donner. I <laughs> think that's all of them.
help you up this time underwater your wall. Magneto. Ah, good thing I'm right here is a knock first. Damn. Can I shoot you for beef? <laughs> That enemy squadron, that one guy, eliminated. <laughs> that one guy with like two fingers and no other <laughs> limbs left. Yeah, because Toby is not a closer. <laughs> oh, that was the Vang, right? That, that couldn't that kill us. Right? Oh, you think if I kill a dragon, Sosuke will love me? <laughs> Well-known mecha aboard the Tuatha Dé Danann and the G Gundam. <laughs> dragon. Please explain the current situation here. Dragon. It's a fucking yes, dragon. Yes, dragon. Yeah. <laughs> All your sensors malfunctioning. In fairness, they are in a submarine. <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> oh no, if we terrorists can trust you, secret organization with a submarine. <laughs> secret mercenary organization with a submarine. Dragons without any kind of moral quandary, and then my hindbrain kicked in her mind to be able to cross Angie's path. <laughs> Mike, 
just thinking to himself, neat, I didn't know I'd ever get to fight a dragon. <laughs> There you go. Or oh, another one. Total five turns. Yep. So they're not in front of here. No, they are. Oh, okay. That they're is what nice. those are. Yeah. Uh, the green one, I believe, is Galleon, and the red ones are schooners. Ah, uh, okay. It's a sailboat. <laughs> okay, that is just straight up starting the Arbalist. Yes. Oh well, yeah, this is second grade. Ah, okay. And for second grade stuff.性能ない破壊者に遠慮はいらんな。あれ、ラムダドライバーだ。なぜ。必ず当てる。破壊する。I've seen some ass on dragon fights because I'll be on the uh, be on the internet more. Oh, oh, hey, ass. hey ass, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just heard you there. What were we talking about? Uh not far for once. Ostensibly, not actually far. Sosuke is going to be one of our primary units through the entirety of this game, so we're highly unlikely to not reach it. Uh, it is not until... Scenario 27, uh, at which point Sosuke has to have a kill count of 40 and combined across all Full Metal Panic characters have to have 100. 
so yeah, not, not going to be a problem. Uh, so a thing that happens in Super Robot Wars games, considering you have like multiple characters usually from a given series, um, is a lot of times you will actually have special attacks that are available if certain <laughs> are in proximity to each other, uh, uh, where they do a combo attack. Of some sort. So in <laughs> Uh, another extremely common one you will almost always see, like I'm pretty sure this one too, is uh, Great Mazu Garen Mazu where they both do their breast fires. Um, I think that does vary. Uh, sometimes is in some games or even within certain games, certain combo attacks specifically um, have a thing where if the other units that are involved in the combo attack aren't deployed, you can still just do it because they're going to be able to be launched from the battleship for the combo attack. Uh, but that's not always the case. Sometimes they also like correct time. Of course they are. Crossbone X1 Kai Kai. Oh boy! I guess just any 
of them. Like, yes, <laughs> all, all of them do have the ability to do the Earth Strike. Um, I don't know that the Galleon will kill itself on counter attack. <laughs> Somehow survived this. <laughs> They're very elastic. This is an extreme regeneration cut, though. Um, I do believe there is slightly more in it. Uh, I do know that the Penelope is also in this game, so there will definitely be some of the plot of Hathaway's Flash. I don't know how much of it we will actually deal with, but... That's right. If they want us to this spring. Totally done. Oh, oh, great shadow <laughs> <Yeah. for> money. <laughs> oh,
さっさと終わらせる。You didn't do anything. <laughs> Our work here is done. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, it's just a dawn. We're the, uh, we're the Nabisco. I need somebody to go out real quick and take the name off the side of our ship. <laughs> this is very important. We could just not. It's not like they can make us. In fairness, there are worse series in this game. See, Destiny is in this game. Hey, for all that we may harp on Cross Engine, it's not an aggressively terrible series. It's just banal and forgetful, and there's way better series that are involved in this game that we could be focusing on instead. Oh, I'm all for ignoring it because it's just as much as possible. It's just. <laughs> Slowly gathering a team of teenage girl ship captains. Cause I'm just a teenage poor ship captain. <laughs> In fairness, I think we're just about out of those.
Let us emphasize three or four more times that 16. you are 16 years old. us we're in hell we have to pay attention to cross on it through this game <laughs> they're, just us, they're, just, they're just letting us know we're in hell welcome to hell how much do we actually have to pay attention to cross hands i mean in all seriousness we can't just up the auto okay <laughs> magic her glows away 16 It's fine, the text box is doing a good job of censoring. There's also a sensor in Wayland Mind. Yes. Yes. Now we're going to put you in a stupid outfit. You were around, okay. Yeah, she's on the ship. Yeah, I mean, she's on... fighting him. <laughs> yes. Well, no, but. <laughs> she's not come back. She also generally doesn't get dragged around. She has. She has before, but yeah. it's not the normal operating procedure. Well, a little bit below my strike range. God damn it, Curse! <laughs> I wish there was a 16-year-old around here anyway. <laughs> ah, a lickety doll. Granted, it's not actually bad. Triple lines on Gundam. G.
As a rank and uh, space is a C. <laughs> yes. Glad you've caught on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, it has a, a rank compatibility space. with space. Space is a C. There's a way to sort by score. Oh, it's Mito. It's actually Mito, not my guy. So we can have it. I think that's sixty, right? Uh, yeah, that's sixty. Okay, we're we're solid. Okay. This is the stage we would need to have it done by. So, okay. I mean, granted, not that we're not going to field Mike Guy, but we can not, choose not to field Tri Bomber and Guard Diver now. Yeah. yeah. Don't need the effectively extra actions to get extra kills. Yeah. 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 You know, or that. Yeah, like, realistically, we probably would have been all right even not fielding Tri Bomber and Guard Diver in the last mission, but it's not like we had many better options anyways. Yeah. Feel the Estevals and the Super Estevals. But like now, in place of those two, we can feel like Kurtz and Mao or something just to get more yeah. kills on the uh, Kurtz and Mao. It's full Metal Panic, Panic crew. We do need a hundred total across them. Yep. 
mean, granted, we have like 10 scenarios, I think like 12 scenarios basically to do that in, but. Congratulations, Curse. You found an entirely new dimension of people who dunk your head in the toilet for being a fucking perv. Oh, you shut the fuck up, Zavarota. <laughs> Exclusively in this dimension's official currency, Mito Fun Bucks. Reminder again, just in case it isn't <laughs> obvious, uh, this is all based off of light novel Hathaway's Flash, not the actual anime Gundam Hathaway, hence why Hathaway Noah here looks like he's fucking 12 years old and not an actual, like, adult man like he isn't, <laughs> like he should actually be. Yep. I certainly don't come from the past of your world. Like, <laughs> genuinely, there is no justification why Toby should look like the older one in this exchange. Hathaway has, I think, a good six or seven years on Tobia at this point. Well, of course you've seen it. All Gundam. It's in the same universe. Well, I mean, Crossbone literally is. It it's is. UC. They're yeah. actually in UC. He's literally um, a terrorist from his past. That's yes. Or from the past of his universe. Yeah, when he's saying it's a hundred years, like hundred-year-old Gundam model, yeah. it's about accurate. That's about yeah. the correct timeline. That would be a hundred. No, would be pretty yeah. close to it. Uh, talking like sixty-ish by the time of Crossbone, I want to say. Because like, I mean, uh, Judao's alive in Crossbone. Yeah, Judao is extremely old in Crossbone. He is, but he's still alive. Um, let's see, when is it set? Because it's UC 100 ish something. This, uh, pathway is 105? Uh, so the initial crossbone stuff takes place in the 130s. Uh, but Tobia is technically from the later stuff, which is. Well, Toby is in Crossbone. The stuff that we're dealing with now would be Skull 7, which is going to be a few years after that, so probably in the 140s or so. So we're still talking like 40-ish yeah. years. Yeah. 30, 40 years. Probably. And guess, obviously they're fuzzing it a bit because yeah, yeah. Super Robot Wars, whatever. But And considering the Gundam timeline, 40 years is like 250 years of uh, events. Of so. ending warfare on Earth. <laughs> On Earth, off Earth, wherever the fuck we've actually gone to. In this case, Jupiter. 
Yeah, because at this point we're into the stuff for like Skullheart and Steel 7. Yeah. I think it's explicitly labeled as Skullheart in this one. No, it was actually really easy to fight Dragon. They were yeah. super easy, barely inconvenience. Like three arm slaves shooting the same one just killed it. But yeah, like the Skullheart. So Skullheart is technically, if I remember correctly, like a bunch of short stories and vignettes in the crossbone stuff. And then that leads into Steel 7, which is the sort of actual follow-up. At the end of Skullheart is 135, which Steel 7 means like around the beginning of 140-ish, I think, or like 138 into 140s. The, the less yeah. said about Cross Ange, the better, honestly. Force. I'm concerned the military forces consists of that person is different from us, throw them in a robot to fight a dragon. Yes. The ruling people don't give a shit. Yeah, that that person can't use mana. That person Fuck can't em. use mana, there's a human. God help them if this young boy who has been raised in the woods by his father also can't use mana, but is just really, really fucking strong, gets into their wizarding academy. God, this series would be over in like the episodes <laughs> of Mash will exist in the same <laughs> Mash would just show up and he'd be, be like, you're a Norma. No. <laughs> I was like, we're going to put you in a giant robot to fight these dragons. Why the robot? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, taking a look at the official series list, uh, this one does just have all, it starts at base crossbone, but also includes Skullheart and Steel 7 stuff. Also, technically, the debut of Skullheart and Steel 7 in Super Robot Wars. Crossbone has obviously been in stuff prior to this. Very popular, but... Hmm. They're still talking. Yeah, they will be for a while. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Bandai. Just give us a crossbone anime already, goddammit. Um, <laughs> we'll have to do it ourselves. Why, why, why does Bandai hate money? I will print out some... Um, uh, Gundams from uh, manga pages. We'll get some pops. Well, no, we, we love money. That's why we put out model kits and stuff. <laughs> like, that's the thing, though. You can't even, like, argue that they'd be like, well, they're not going to do a crossbone anime because it wouldn't move model kits. It's like, even without an anime, fucking crossbone kits always sell out faster yeah, than just about but, anything else. But that just means they don't need to make an anime to market them. Well, yeah, but if they made an anime, they would have an excuse to release whole new uh, redesigns of the existing crossbone kits, by which I mean, like, change one mold color. 
<laughs> this part is blue instead of gray. <laughs> that makes it the anime version. Give us forty dollars. <laughs> I do genuinely hold out some hope that we will be seeing Crossbone anime coming up soon, though, because, again, well, their driving thing right now, at least for actual UC Gundam stuff, is the UC Next 100 project, meaning that they're trying to do stuff set after UC 100. Uh, so I'm hoping that, like, once Hathaway's, the, the Hathaway movies sort of wrap, the next thing we might be seeing would be Crossbone, because, again, it's extremely popular. Uh, it's something that they, again, would guaranteed move model kits. Oh, look, we have the whole team. All right. So, we have units that aren't theirs, right? No. Yeah. I mean, not at the moment, but... Yes, for the love of God, enough talking. Enough stating literally the same thing over and over again. I know, you have six characters. No, all of them do not need to have lines every time every little thing happens. Well, they're all color-coded, so you can determine which one you hate the most. <laughs> yeah, they decided to color each, they decided to paint each one's back and colors their hair. Well, that makes sense in the mysterious way possible. Or their, or their outfit. And it's their suit, yeah. 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 Sometimes those match up anyways, but... Man. The, uh, the goddess from the Tales series really fell on some hard times. Had to take on an absolute shit roll to make ends meet, huh? She does kind of look like... <laughs> You're not long, really? Yeah. She's got the blonde hair. She's got exactly the same little, like, flop. She needs, like, the green. She needs, like, the green, a green, like, hair thing. Hair thing, thing hair thing. But that's it. Like. I have to use them. Yes, unfortunately. So they fucking suck. Did you see that shit? Like, no move after attack for a range of fucking three. Yakushiki, we ordered off of wish.com. Can't even kill a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Neki Basara wants his color scheme back. Keep that dragon back in his box. Power of Christ compels you to explode. That's the other thing, too. The mecha designs in Cross Angel aren't even that interesting. I mean, they're okay, but they're very kind of. Let's go, Ninja Turtle. Shoulder <laughs> cans, I can't do a higher reputation. <laughs> How does the Vagult from EDF look like a more respectable man? <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, the other thing is... This is also, don't insult that thing right into a Ninja Turtle. That would be a much better looking unit. <laughs> these are supposed to be, like, units specifically designed for fighting dragons. None of them can take out a dragon in one shot. A, a character with a weapon that can fire more than two when moving. <laughs> the most broken concept character we have. <laughs> None of them hit hard enough to kill a dragon in one shot. Oh, okay, you haven't hurt that one yet. No, they had hurt the one further, but she could not move far enough to get it in range of her range three weapon. What an absolute sniper of the cross Ange team. Man, that's the other thing, too. Is like, you can justify having, like, lower range weapons if you have, like, a very high mobility unit that can actually, like, move really far so it can close with it. He doesn't even move no. very far. Way to go. Just everything about these units is fucking awful. I will also take the opportunity to point out that in the last mission, fully unupgraded Gernsbecks were dodging these dragons. They were. Yeah. The Gernsbecks are not even, like, particularly high-end suits in, like, like uh, Mecha in the world of Full Metal Panic. Like, they're exacerbating. Actually, they kind of are. They're actually they, absurdly they, mobile uh, suits. The mobile well, mobile. I don't. Yeah. I don't mean like they're actually, like mobile, but like like they're not considered like oh my god, they've got Gern's backs. It's not like they're like the fucking the, like Arbalas or anything. The, they are actually they're the yeah. highest technology that anyone in the world has. Yes, they're but like the, the, but, they're the, the, but they're not the but they're, they're like the like only people that have them. Is my point. Uh, that's part of what's like especially. These are, these are, again, supposed to be suits specifically designed as anti-dragon mobile suits. They cannot dodge a hit from the dragons, and one hit from the dragons is like a quarter of their fucking health. Well, not just about the robots, but about the little This is also the point where we're given the full metal panic stuff, and most of our group really likes full metal panic. Most of our group really doesn't like crossing. I haven't encountered enough okay, cross what's, what's the, not like it, though it is doing a very good at job at the moment. Because <laughs> they're all in X as well. The excuse in X is going to be that we're still aggravated from that time. I mean, honestly, yeah, they are all an X. Take your fucking pick. See, the argument that Vince was making earlier, about it, well, at least it's not the worst series in this game, because see, Destiny is here. You can't make that excuse for X. Here's the series list for X. Dytarn 3. Dytarn 3 whips ass. Uh, Dunbean and Tales of Neo Biston Well. Dunbean is fucking great. Uh, Zeta, Double Zeta, CCA, Belthorchka's Children. Uh, F91, fucking sold. Uh, hmm. CCA, uh, Belthorchka's Children is one thing, the, I the, No, they have CCA and Beltorchka's Children. They have units from Beltorchka's Children. Oh, okay. You, they, they have the Nightingale and the High New. Okay. 
that's that's all it is. It's the, the, the story is they use the CCA, but the actual units that you also get the uh, the the uh, Nightingale and the uh, High Noon. Ah, uh, but nothing from Advance is it? No. <laughs> um, F91, hell yeah. Uh, wing Endless Waltz, okay. sure. Yeah. Uh, Crossbone Steel 7, uh, G Reco, all fine. Uh, Mashing Hero Wataru, okay, fine. Uh, Nadia Secret of Blue Water, hell yeah. Mashing Hero Wataru is actually like the main series. Yes. Basically. Yeah, it's like, I think that's where you start, it, it, isn't it? It's where you start, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's also the debut in that one, but like, uh, Brave Express Might Gain, yeah. Gurren Lagan and, uh, the Lights and Skies are Stars movie, like, awesome. Uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Re Rebellion R2, totally acceptable. Uh, Mazinger Edition Z, The Impact, Shin Mazinger Zero versus Ankoku Dai Shogun, and Mazen Kaiser stuff, all great. Uh, fucking Buddy Complex and Buddy Complex Final Chapter. Like, Buddy Complex. I'll take Buddy Complex over fucking Cross Edge. <laughs> like, that's it. That, that, and then Cross Edge. Like, Cross Edge is absolutely the worst series in X. God damn it, this is class, we can barely pay the fucking... Why do we name it test for boats? <laughs> I don't care about any of that, it just means the scenario is going on longer, which means they get to talk more. Well, yeah, I a would... point will show up. <laughs> I, I would like to point out, by the way, one of these bitches literally has a sword called Dragon Slayer, which has failed to slay a dragon. <laughs> uh, a lot of them have dragon killing slash weapons that fail to kill dragons on Oh no. Now you get to go to the undiscovered country. That's a Shakespeare reference. <laughs> I would like to note that so far in this mission, uh, Ange has failed to hit a dragon and then got two people killed. <laughs> Yeah, it seems accurate. <laughs> oh no, they're dead. Cross is Don Kev. I don't think we're that lucky. All a bad dream. Her outfit even looks like wheels. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Did, did this come out before? <laughs> um. Uh, to the internet. I am fairly certain after. Is there controversy when they just straight up stole a terrorist character? The same uh, character designer? Cause, yeah, because Zillia was 2011, Cross Ange was 2014. Uh, no, they're just... And the Cross Ange manga even was 2014. Okay, actually looking at Mila, there's just enough difference that would probably avoid copyright, but... So we did some tracing and slightly changed it. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, no, as far as I can tell, no crossover in artists. <laughs> it's it's like, like at a glance, it's like that that's me the maximum. It's yeah. just straight up a character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
The outfit absolutely looks like something you would wear to the, the point outfit. of being in the right colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So I was like, this looks like this outfit. It's like, it is slightly different, but like, if you saw Mila in that, it wouldn't look in the place in any way, shape, or form. Her name was Coco. She was 12 years old. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> she loved to play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> More dragons. Oh. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this really expected as expensive machine that we're using to try and defend ourselves. I feel there are cheaper ways to execute a princess. Now the actual scenario 14 and not that weird pre-battle we did. Yep. Uh, no attack B bonus on this one. Bang Ray, definitely the Arbalest. I mean, no harm in fielding the G. It's a pretty solid unit. Raphael continues to get to come along. <laughs> uh, that being said, part of the SR point on this one is each of the battleships has to get two uh, kills. Okay. We have cruise missiles. Yeah, it's okay. defeat all enemies in four turns. All the battleships have to get at least two kills. Oh, I should time. have bought a hit rock for Dustin. Oh, yeah, we forgot to do that, but it should still be okay for now. Uh, that being said, after this one, we will no longer have as hard a consideration for our 10. Oh, we're getting more than the cross and units on this one. So, hey, Vince, remember that earlier comment about how we're in a different dimension now? There's no way we're going to get UC Gundam characters and units. <laughs> well, that was thrown out with the last mission anyways. So that but... showed up. Yeah. Apparently, it's a good way of inserting the past stuff into here. Uh-huh. So, Zeta or Double Zeta or Cross Counter Attack. Uh, the first two there. <laughs> <laughs> good to see Kabila's out of his coma. Well, okay, so technically we're getting the Double Zeta. So we are getting the Zeta Gundam, but it's just be piloted by Rue. Uh, okay. Of course, we are uh, getting all the cross and units, which we will never see again. Please do not try and reconcile that they're from the same world that uh, the Twelfth of the Dawn came from, and yet somehow Judao is still like 16 years old while Hathaway is an adult. Don't worry about it. Listen, Hathaway did a lot of growing up in that one year.
And then DH for Shark's counter attack, don't ask questions. Yes, clear map within four turns. Rotary, Sumeragi, and Tessa each have to get at least two kills. <laughs> like it has mobility ranges for things besides water, so and they're not all like the same. Yeah, no, it has like B air and I think C ground or something. Yeah, it's like yeah, C and D. Who knows? Maybe they will end up putting legs on it, or maybe they'll just have a dragon fly underneath it and carry it around. Dragons are enemies. the other thing about Super Robot Wars as compared to, say, like the G-Gen games, uh, there are no assigned warships to units. Any unit can go on any warship. Technically, yes, in that there is a limit to the number of units you can field on a map. You know, every single unit on a map can go into a warship, into a single warship. Like right now. Pretty much. I mean, we did actually spread them out across the two, but that was really more just the convenience of where people were placed. And some yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so the convenience of where things were placed more so than anything else. Everything except the light gun, because it doesn't need it. The light gun's kind of wrong. Jadal has the double Zeta, Rue has the Zeta, L has the Mark II, he just got the shooty. That's right, the difficulty of the Yaku Shiki. Yeah, no, Beach of Pilots, the Yaku Shiki, double Zeta. Yeah. It's just somewhere very close to that. Yeah. is an absolute support beast. It's peak it's like twice a minute. Yeah, 
head like you touch the mic on. For minimum damage allowed. <laughs> Feel good? No. It's not uncommon for ship commanders to have that. ships on the enemy turn, so... Oh, that's a dragon. They call it one dragon. Oh no, they're approaching Arsenal. They're saying a lot of things, but they don't involve let's go punch dragons. Well, not directly.
Roger Dawashta, inspirational speaker. <laughs> you say you want to die, but you're trying to live. I want to live. Biosensor, don't worry about it. <laughs> Take a bit to explain, and even then it won't make sense. <laughs> Well, you see, some ghosts whispered some things to me. I put it on a napkin. I'm good. Stop it. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ghosts from the future. No, no, that's that's psycho frame, not biosensor. Biosensor, uh, if I remember correctly, biosensor was just uh, Camille Badon makes shit up. Ah. <laughs> Camille Badon, who flunked <laughs> high school physics, uh, writes down science stuff, and it somehow works, even though it shouldn't. Somewhere, Setsuna from Cut with Gaius is screaming at the screen. <laughs> hey, look, it looks just like every other unit from Cross End, but this one is white. Cool. So that was slightly different color. You can see there is Judao carefully like sniping it to get her Wow, she killed that dragon so hard her head stopped bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> nothing stops bleeding like Dragon Slay. <laughs> okay, nothing from Cross Saiyan is gonna make her stop that. <laughs> How can you tell that a dragon seems shaken? Are you a renowned really dragon shaken. whisperer? <laughs> How familiar are you with the emotional states of dragons? <laughs> Those things that up until last mission you had never seen. Tell you, if Operation Leap Three Things in Life of the Warships. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, these things in four turns doesn't seem hard. Is this what you guys were talking about? You're talking about the lizard dwarfs? Nothing. Like what are you talking about? No, 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 those lizards are human. What? what? <laughs> Why are you? Why is it? Have you, I don't know. Why would they call something else different? I don't know. Have, have you considered that maybe they wouldn't hate you so much if you stopped calling them lizards? <laughs> In fairness, we didn't know they were lizards until halfway through. I, I just can't hear what this one is saying. Oh, 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 sorry. Can you use magic? Can you use mana? Oh, oh my. Quarter up behind you. Wow, magic. <laughs> <laughs> I successfully avoided the salt mines for another year. <laughs> the dragon mines in this case. Go, Asta! Get it! Get it! equivalent for the dragons. Type zero super density blade rates. I'm 
point to hit you. Too close. That doesn't have a counter attack for other than a ring one attack. It doesn't have a counter attack. Sosuke was really enthused by that train attack. Apparently. On the Arbalest, uh, activates and focuses above 130. As focus rises, units sight, mobility, armor, and damage dealt will increase. And unlocks the Lambda Strike attack. I think there are some units left inside. Oh, it's left outside. Oh, it's left outside. Is 
worth noting, uh, the Lambda Driver has a different effect on the Levitan than it does on the Arbalest. Killed one galleon in a cutscene that we could have handled anyways. After. Uh, also, as a note, if I recall correctly, when we were looking at the uh, power parts earlier, we did have a gra uh, gravity wave antenna, right? Uh, that is actually very good. That one uh, it gives the unit the essentially the gravity wave antenna ability, which is the thing that the like Asimolus have by default. Yeah. Um, what that does is, as long as there's something with gravity wave beam deployed, i.e. the Nadesco, uh, it refills their energy completely at the start of every player phase. Oh, that's good. Oh. We need to figure out something that actually need constant energy to refill. Yeah. It's just worth noting, because it doesn't actually clarify what that ability does in there, but I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure we have one of those as a power part we can just add to things. Factoring, um, the based on what we know, even if they are from the same Earth, they are most likely from before the Gamelins destroyed it. Almost certainly, especially considering one of them uses a submarine. Yeah. Well, they just specifically said, like in this conversation, that they're probably not from our pa or from the Prime Universe's past because there was an event that turned the seas red in their timeline. Slightly different, but, but, but slightly but importantly different histories. <laughs> See, there was this tanker transporting nothing but red food coloring. Thank God.
la 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 <laughs> wow, her voice sounds exactly like a violin. Yeah. What do you do when you have range 13 missiles? Yep. Yep. Once I'm singing that song, her voice is terrible. Be both. Stop teaching the Google AI to be racist. <laughs> it's happened like twice now. <laughs> We get to choose our path. Seek a way out. Honestly, with these uniforms, how could you tell? smoking a cigarette. I know what four kids does. <laughs> two episodes and I learned the value of friendship or some shit like that.
I mean, she gets right. We would totally shoot her down. Unfortunately, this is not accurate. I mean, it wouldn't solve any problems. We'd still have the rest of the test. Considering how ridiculously easy it is for us to plow through dragons, how about we just, you know, go to where the dragons are and kill them? That seems like about as much of a plan as we need at the moment. Ah, oh, but you see, the dragon's just kind of teleporting. <sighs> I think about two minutes in, they teleport out. Okay, uh, so we've reached a split point uh, because we already got to the 60 kills on our uh, Brave Choice Might Guide, folks. We don't actually have a forced choice here in order to access the secret scenario. Uh, so uh, if we stay in Arsenal, uh, we keep our double O folks, uh, we keep the Full Metal Panic crew, we keep the Cross Ange crew, and we get to pick up Mobile Seat Gundam Seed Destiny. If we go to Japan, uh, we keep all the UC Gundam folks, so Double Zeta, Hathaway, Crossbone. Um, we keep Bite Gun, we keep the Nadesco folks, and we pick up uh, Zambot 3 and Ditarn 3. Yeah, I know what my vote is. <laughs> vote is. <laughs> Both in the interest of getting Cyborg Mecha billionaire playboy James Bond Batman with a giant robot and also avoiding seed destiny. Well, we'll have to deal with them eventually. I mean, yes, but we avoid their plot mostly, at least the start of it if we go to Japan. Uh, Vince, do you have any one way or another? <laughs> That's not even a question you need to ask. Oh, it's a seed destiny. Oh, I guess we're deadlocked. I, oh, 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 oh. Yes, I like torturing myself. Let's go to Japan. <laughs> I've already played back through Sea Destiny's plot in a different video game. I don't need it in this one, too. It's fine. We'll get there. Next. I know. I know. But still. I know we are just playing off the inevitable. Biggest illusion of choice you could offer me. <laughs> Here are your two options: a ham sandwich, or we hit you in the head with this ball peen hammer. I mean, in fairness, <laughs> we we all know that uh, Shiv is the one that has the most unfortunate, like, devil's choice in this entire game. Yeah. Well, see, in order to get the Quinn Mantha, we also have to recruit Glemmy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You never have to use them. When do I get to come out of the supply closet? Never. Padlock. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the supply closet look like the midsection of an a, uh, airlock? Strange how that works. Oh no, it's open. <laughs> I've met this Ange person. A little too old for me. Now, I heard her talking about someone named Coco, who's apparently about 12. Do you have any cloning technology uh, aboard, ship? <laughs> I will find a way to slam the door 
hours on this ship under skull. <laughs> Kashyyyk as well, because we're going to be probably having to field them for a little while at least. Pretty sure, even though they are no, they are not currently like in our crew. Uh, if we go through this menu, I think we can unequip stuff from units that are on the other side that we won't have access to for the next like. I think it's like three scenarios. Is this split? That's fine. Yeah, I mean stat boost alone. These are going to be more than solid.
No, it's fine. My assistants do most of the work. I mean, honestly, Maito owns the publishing company that publishes my manga anyways. Technically speaking, if he tells me to come, I can't refuse the order. Must enjoy! Well, we found this guy with his chest ripped open, his heart. <laughs> yeah, don't look too hard into it. It's just the baton. Yeah. Less phantom thief and more spooky bed sheet. Oh no, the <laughs> Nato <laughs> thief. I feel the stakes are sweet in this game. <laughs> the world has been made by the Trigus. We need to stop them. So he's stealing all the Nato. That's their problem. <laughs> We're in Japan now. I don't want to, but I will suplex you.
They're all just doing the JoJo thing for part five of the Hickam. <laughs> I have a ton. <laughs> we know who you are already. We don't need you. Could be, oh, wait, no. Another <laughs> Miles of Phantom Blue. Because that could be anyone. Cat. Also a thief. The messenger of hate steals food from a child. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this is not worth our time. <laughs> it's very important. I am so glad we came to Japan. <laughs> I don't care how dumb this plotline gets. It's better than what was waiting for us back in the Oh, it's a thousand times better than what was waiting for us. I would much rather have a dumb plotline than that one. <laughs> As much as a total shift is, is, as it is, I'd rather be an amusingly stupid land. <laughs> I mean, this is the route where we recruit the two, like, 70s mecha series, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, it makes sense. <laughs> ah, I see. You're fermenting uh, Nako into rocket fuel or something. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuck? Well, I'm certainly not out of blame. This feels like a Dr. Doofenshmirtz plan. <laughs> like, we're two yeah. seconds away from Barry the Platypus. I'm not... <laughs> two seconds from Barry the Platypus breaking in with a Gundam. <laughs> I'm going to gather all the Nato lovers to make them hate Nato. Why? Father or grandfather? Uh, it's, it's grandfather. Okay. He mentioned that before. Uh, his parents are dead. That's right. His parents are dead. But his parents died. Took over. Yeah. Yes. Yes. His parents died. Left him a bunch of money. He became Batman. He's not Batman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we haven't got there yet. <laughs> That's Banjo Haran. Cyborg James Bond Batman with a giant robot. Ugh, my plan is. Potentially been stopped. <laughs> I just wholly stupid. <laughs> I think they get sort of the last one and probably the next one. Uh <laughs> there you go. That's what everyone's like. The fuck? <laughs> Yes, I do understand. Bhutan has a learning disability. <laughs> Man, can we get her to read Cross Age and have the Defender? You're taking this way too seriously, my <laughs> <laughs> Council was like, ah, not enough people are eating Nato. We need a perfectly natural or reasonable Nato reference in this game you're making. I'm not going to lie, it's been a very long time. I'm not entirely sure this is not actually an episode of Mike Gein. That is my best guess on it, too. 
I, I legitimately think there is actually a part in my guide where Vuitton comes up with a block to steal all the Nato So back in, in like, what, like the 90s when that guy was being made, the Nato Council <laughs> knew the Brave series was really popular. So they Inconspicuous Nato uh, this episode. Like, I do genuinely think this is actually the plot of, like, one throwaway episode of my guy. Everyone got it. <laughs> yep. Oh, but anyway, that's the B team. Got me, Nato. Then run really, really far. Don't, don't ask for it. It's not fun. Tell us some more much more to die in our Yeah, Do you have a tacky on this one? Uh, yes, but we don't have the ability to access the tacky bonus yet. And the SR is essentially not relevant until it shows up. Uh, the SR part for this one, for reference, is to defeat the Vermage with a single attack or counter attack. about it yet. There is like a definite interlude within this mission because the Ace of Allis custom gets a new attack during this mission, which is also tied to the attack B bonus. We have to destroy an enemy using that new attack from the Ace of Allis custom. Now, 
it's sour mouth. Yeah. Like, it does technically tell us how much we got from it at the end of each scenario. Uh, it doesn't tell much we got from that at the end of the scenario. It tells us how much we get from the, uh, the upgrade thing we did that gives us 5% money. I'm pretty sure it also includes the main meter stuff in that. Actually, I kind of like it. The brand is not there. <laughs>
And now we have our SR point. Yeah, so one hit attack or counter attack. You can use a support attack if you have advantage if you need it. Um, and then, like I said, we need to destroy an enemy with the combination attack, or the formation attack that the Ace of Custom has now. Yep. Warship gets shot down. Any of the critical characters get shot down, or the value of Nato goes below a certain percentage. either like 40% or double. Oh, uh, bra no, bravery is Excel, Bullseye, Persist, Valor, Spirit, and Charge. Valor's Valor is one double sandwich one time, yeah. Soul is even better than Valor one because it's 120 percent extra damage. Just trying to figure out the top on now. Yeah. And it looks like the banker might have slipped it on its own. Can do it against one of the normal ones on the side. I don't know if you Yeah, I mean that being said, if we can get like one more, attack. yeah, we can go and if we can get like one more EXE, we can do like yeah, direct attack or smash hit. attack now. Not for kills, but it doesn't. We'll do it again. Yep. Mujin <laughs> 
敵をいくら倒しても自慢にゃなんねえが光る泉出番だ呼ばれて飛び出てなんとやら張り切ってしちゃうよ援護射撃を頼むぜそいじゃやるよおいしくいただきます二人に負けてられないぜ Three bonus.
は許さない頑張らなきゃ私も私自身が弾丸になる Nato inside the cockpit with me. I hate it so much. Might as just like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go back home. <laughs> して攻撃を仕掛けます。敵陣中央にグラビティブラストを打ちます。スタンバイオーケーですよ、艦長。ハリウ出力を最大でやっちゃってます。
episode eight to destroy try to destroy an entire food company because she slipped on their product. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, I seem to recall this being an actual episode of Mike Guy. I'm not surprised. Episode 4, she tries to use a mouth robot to steal all the jewelry in the entire world. Uh huh. At least she thinks big. No, like, as compared to, like, Gal Gai Gar, which has this, like, vast, like, universe spanning, like, existential threat to humanity, Mike Gein is extremely Saturday morning cartoonish. It's Nacho, isn't it? Of course. It's espresso. the poisoned natto I gave them. Hey, I just had a question, Mr. McD. <laughs> I will never get over this man's face. Okay, like a couple of street cops, occasionally a kid with some roller skates, plenty of people beating up Mr. X. This is true. A kangaroo. <laughs> in our gears as well. I can barely move. <laughs> Ow. 
can't really party, though. The police motorcycle isn't here to teach us about butt-chugging oil. With that being said, it's probably a good place to call it for the day. Uh, thank you all for joining us again for another Super Robot Sunday here on Sound Goblin Gaming as we continue our playthrough of Super Robot Wars V. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Poke Mondays with our Pokemon playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, back on Tuesday with more Lobotomy Corporation as we try and keep uh, absolute chaos from reigning over the power company we are running. Thursday with more Banner of the Maid and right back here next Sunday with more of our Super Robot Wars V playthrough. Until then, I've been Bograt. I've been Krampus. I've been Chiv. And I've been Sun. Have a good one, everyone. We've all been melting. Please send help.